Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I am sharing my September haul and I wanted to share some things that are coming up. First of all, I have a video coming sharing some of my favorite journaling supplies. You guys have been asking for a fountain pen video for such a long time. So keep an eye out for that. And then next, who all is doing Inktober this year because I wanted to share where I'm at and then we'll get to the haul. So um, today is October 3rd and I'm behind already because what I did, uh, what I did ahead of time is I went ahead and found my sketchbook that I wanted to use and I decided to use my favorite etcher sketchbook. So this is October 1st. I did draw it, but I didn't have time to paint it yet. So I drew this in the car just waiting for my son. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And so I wanted to see who all is doing it. And I noticed on Instagram, they're only sharing ones that are inked with black ink. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, but I don't, honestly, I don't care. I'm doing this for me, just so I can challenge myself to draw and paint every day in one sketchbook. So let's start with the haul. First, I have a set of Tombow dual brush pens. This is the Bohemian set. I tried a few of the Tombow brush pens. I'd used them just a little bit, but really hadn't used too many. Decided I better try to get a few more colors. Tried a few of these little sets, and I really do like them like this because the colors seem to go together. I just think you probably get repeats if you're not careful. So if you're like me, I really don't want repeats, but... Um, I want to collect all the colors. So let me swatch these out for you guys really quick. So here's those, they're all swatched out. And I would, if I did want to get, I, I just love that one. That one's probably my favorite. And then that one, and then that one. But it's so gonna be nice to have them all and see what I can do with them all together in the set. And I've learned to leave them in the little set and see what I can do with the color mixing. Next are a few products that have been sent to me and I, I don't want to share everything that's sent to me because sometimes I make individual um, videos, but this time since I'm so, I got so backed up, I needed to because they sent me these a few months ago. I thought I'd give my first uh, impressions here and then I will do a separate video with some artwork and everything. So this is from Zen Art Supplies and it is a watercolor travel system so that I was most interested in that set. And also they had some really nice 100% cotton paper. So I believe this is a new company. This is based out of the UK so I imagine it's even more affordable in the UK. Let's take a look at these. 24 half pans and seven tools. I believe they're all brushes. So let's open this up and take a look. All right. Oh, this is kind of nice. Um, the palette's really cool. And it says that 100% satisfaction is our top priority and a one-year warranty. Okay. It looks like it's got a plastic cover. It's weird. It's, it's odd that they have it on the back and not the, the front. It's the travel palette. Not sure if I said that or not. Oh, it looks like they have all kinds of stuff. I'm just gonna put those there instead of reading them all off because uh, I do like that they share the pigment information. All right, let's open this. Maybe I have to push it. All right, so that it does have a um, ephemering in the back. It is made out of plastic and did it get it open? Oh, look at this. That's kind of cool. What is that? Okay, so that folds out, and then I guess that's as far as it goes. So it kind of um, sits right there. Has several brushes. It has a, oh, it has a fan brush. I've never tried one of those. Actually, I've never tried many brushes. I have like three brushes I use all the time, and I haven't ventured out into the brush world yet very much. I just keep using what I'm used to and every time I try a new brush, I, I'm like, <laughs> I like what I'm used to kind of thing. I don't know if I need to try new brushes, but. Oh, so they've, that's very nice. They've included a swatch chart and then um, this looks like, maybe this, oh, maybe this is to protect your, protect it when you close it to keep everything separate. 
All right, I'm gonna set that aside. Okay, so now we have little paint pucks. That's interesting. I've never, I've never received any like this. I wonder if this is um, something that they do in the UK or, or what. So um, I'm not going to. I'm not about to open all these on camera. It's like a nice selection of colors. I love that they give all so many pinks and purples. I think that's gonna be nice. So yeah. I can't wait to actually have time to um, paint with these. So this is the paper and I'm so excited about this. I always need budget 100% cotton paper. So I have two packs and I think I'm most excited about this because this is a square eight by eight and I'm really, I, I love having the big sheets to cut down, but I'm never painting anything this big, hardly ever am I painting anything that big. So this is definitely going to be, I think, my favorite. 100% cotton, cold pressed, all the things I look for, and 140 pounds, so it's 300 GSM. All right, okay, so more information about the company and the founder and all that. And then, okay, so this, Okay, so it's, oh, you know what? It's a, it's like a half block. It's a block, it's glued on two edges. Okay. Um, so these two are not glued down, but the two sides are. So, and then it has just a little bit of texture, not a ton. Um, I thought it's coming across. I don't want to take it off yet though because I want to paint on it to see how it does. But it looks really nice and it doesn't have too much, it's not too rough at all. It's not like arches, it's kind of in between a hot press and cold press is the way I would describe it. Let's try the next one. So here, this is a really, um, got a really pretty artwork on there. Uh, so this is the cold press, 20 sheets, 140 pounds, and the um, 9 by 12. And so this is going to be really nice for if I want to cut it down or if I want to do a whole sheet um, of swatches or something like that. So this is 100% cotton again, acid free, professional quality watercolor paper. So let's see about this paper pad. Okay, more coupons and all kinds of information. Okay, so this paper feels, it feels really the same, just a larger format. And, yep, it's glued, uh, it's got, um, it's glued down on two sides. So it's a kind of like a half block again. I don't know. I don't know really what you call that, but I'm calling a half block because it's blocked. <laughs> it's block on half, but that makes it really easy to paint and not have to um, tape it off or anything maybe. So yeah, I'm really excited to try the paper as well as the paints. And so uh, be watching for that video. Next, so I ordered some Sennelier watercolors. Um, now I had shared these on a my community tab which honestly I'm not going to do very much because number one I don't want to I'm, I don't go looking for deals every single day number two I don't want to enable you guys all the time but if I see a really really good deal on artist grade quality or something that I know people are really wanting purely by accident that I saw this deal I wanted a separate set so that I can paint with these right now these are listed on Amazon for $39 which that's an incredible deal. So let's open this up and see what this is like. This is the Sennelier 12 watercolors. Oh my gosh. So I did not want to put that link on my community tab until I actually purchased them and got them and saw that they were real. <laughs> because that's like more than half off of what Dick Blick charges. So it comes in the lovely Sennelier case. Oh my gosh. This brings back such good memories of when I first fell in love with watercolors. But I have long um, used all of those paints up. 
So now I have a new pretty set. I have no idea if they just have a lot of overstock or why they're selling these for affordable price, but I have told you guys, and so I feel like now I could paint with these and I wouldn't have to feel bad because I really would rather paint things with you guys of products that are affordable that almost everyone can afford. So this gorgeous set comes with Lemon Yellow, Sennelier Yellow Light, French Vermilion, Sennelier Red, Opera Rose, Ultramarine Deep, Phthalo Blue, Forest Green Blue, Phthalo Green Light, Burnt Sienna, Payne's Gray, and Warm Sepia. So really nice colors uh, for mixing and just uh, really pretty colors. The forest green is really um, nice and they have really nice yellows and reds as well. So, but this I purchased, honestly, I purchased this for you guys so I could start painting some tutorials with Sennelier paints and not feel like um, I'm gonna leave anyone out because I thought this was a fantastic price. So I had to share that. And then it does also come, this did come with a, this does come with a thumb ring on the bottom, which for tubes, I don't think you would hold that. But so this, you could just uh, pour little dabs into the, uh, the wells. It comes with the mixing wells. Um, this mixing well does lay flat. So maybe that's why they're so on sale. Um, oh my gosh, it comes with a brush too. Wow. Okay, I didn't even realize it came with a brush. So this is a number three Sennelier brush. And wow, it even comes with a paintbrush. Okay, so <laughs> uh, this might be the best deal of watercolors I've ever seen. Come with their catalog of all their products. They have amazing products and I'm gonna have to try to get this video out as quick as I can so that you guys can get that deal and I don't get yelled at because the deal is over. <laughs> I really do try to get my videos out. It's just, I don't have as much free time as I used to. Even though my kids are older, they, they kind of take more time now. I'll be doing a separate video and share these and we'll do some artwork and I'll be able to paint over and over on camera and I won't feel guilty because I won't feel like I'm you know, using my fancy schmancy <laughs> art supplies that uh, that uh, for many years I wouldn't have been able to afford. And next is the next item. I went to check on, uh, somebody had asked a question and I think I went to check. And then I found the half pan version at a really good price. But it was on Amazon Prime. It was like $50, a really good deal. So you get 18 half pans of Sennelier watercolors and they're in the pans so you don't have to worry about pouring them or anything like that. A $50 one purchased it and received it and checked it out before I linked it. This is the set I linked. The nice glossy normal Sennelier palette. It's almost exactly like the one I have. So yes this is why this is why I didn't want to just I, I don't think I'm ever just going to put a link of something that's really too good to be true without checking it out because look at these two palettes this is the one that was 35 it's a matte black it's not as pretty um, maybe that's why they're getting rid of them maybe they were um, maybe they didn't make it through production right or so. here's the colors that come they do come uh, they've always came unwrapped uh, but they come with a, a little plastic overlay uh, so you get 18 half pans in this set because you get the original uh, 12 plus additional six colors there's all of the colors that are included okay let's take a look at this one um, this one might be a closeout and I don't want to raise suspicions that it's a fake because Honestly, I don't know how they could make enough money. Uh, if they, I think they fake Mont Blancs, but I don't think they fake these. Okay, so this looks just the same. The overlay looks just the same. The paints look just the same. There's a little bit of, um, you know, I have to push the pins down. Um, this even has the Sennelier name printed on it. So... I'm pretty sure maybe these palettes, since the they're not quite as pretty because they're not that glossy, it's like they didn't get the right second coat or something. Uh, but other than that, the paint 
how it looks just the same. So these might have just been clearance. So one of my kind viewers put that you put got it for 35 and I was like, uh-oh, that's a, I didn't link that one. <laughs> I didn't check that one out. <laughs> um, it looks to be just fine. It just looks like maybe it's a close out. It's just not quite as pretty. It's not 35 anymore. It looks like it's going for like, these look like they're going for 52 right now, but it's still an amazing deal. And yes, I bought this just so I can paint with you guys because uh, for $50 for artist grade, beautiful, beautiful paints. It's really hard to beat. It's one thing for me to share that I have some beautiful, expensive product because I saved up for it and used all my credit card rewards or something. It's an entirely different thing to paint something and how I don't want anyone to think, oh, you, I've got to use that $400 watercolor set to paint that beautiful picture. Never. It just adds to the experience, and, but I love Sennelier and I've loved all of their products. One of my top brands. So I am truly excited. So of course this set is going to my daughter for Christmas. I'm going to be putting this back in the box. So I couldn't wait to share that with you guys. Usually prefer the tubes, but the half pans are just so convenient and then you don't have to worry about pouring them pans. Now you can pour the tubes into half pans, of course, but they never quite dry all the way. They dry sticky. So if you're worried about that, you might want to get the half pan. I'm so excited to have both of those. And this is what I do. I go ahead and just cut this. And I put this underneath because you're always going to want to know which colors you have. And, but you don't want it. I don't, I can't handle it flopping around while I paint. So I just put mine underneath and then I have them. Um, now, when you do get a minute, push these pans down because see how some of these are sliding? Um, all you do is, let me do one that's easy. All you do is, you don't even have to label these because Sennelier does that for you. That's how I knew these were real. Because Sennelier labels them for you with the number and then it says Sennelier. So the only difference I noticed on these from my pan of my wood box set is, on my wood box set, they do say Sennelier in the bottom of the pan. So I guess that this, for these, probably the sets bound for the Americas don't get that. <laughs> I'm guessing. So, and sometimes the um, these are extruded pans, which means that they are, you know, kind of laid out and dried and then chopped to go in the pans and they can have a little bit. Once you start painting and add water, it all settles down. So just go ahead and add water and wet all these and they're going to, they'll stay better in their pans. These paints are already honey based. So, uh, but yeah, all these pins, you just push them down and then you can put them in and they'll stay in place better. So I'm not gonna do that now for the sake of time. I'm just going to swatch these out quickly so you can see the difference between the half pan version and the tube version. I'm literally gonna swatch these as very quickly as I can on some uh, cotton watercolor paper. So yeah, if you receive this one for that really, really good deal, $35, bravo. All right, so here these paints have, the Sennelier paints have dried uh, almost all the way. There's still a few spots that haven't quite dried, but now you can see the difference between the, uh, this is the tube set. And then this is the half pan set. You can see a difference of the color. This paper did get quite a bit of cauliflowering, but I don't know if it's because I used too much water or was in a hurry. I was in quite a hurry. This is the tube set of 12. Look how vibrant and gorgeous those colors are. Now this is not Arches watercolor paper, which is usually what I do swatch on, uh, but I was testing out the 100% cotton paper and I don't remember getting granulation before. So I think that is the, I think that's the paper. Um, and then here I did get a lot of cauliflowering, but I was trying to hurry, so it, but it's not the paints for sure, uh, but it could possibly be the paper, but I, I've loved painting on it. It feels smooth and, um, everything. So, but here are like, uh, you know, I could have taken more pigment, but see how this is why the tubes are my favorite because, those colors are just more luminous to me. And so usually I'll use the half pans and they're very convenient and they're very nice, but the tubes always just have just a little more something to them, to me personally. But, uh, but you have to choose uh, which one is more convenient for you.
Next, I received an order from Dick Blick. So first, I did get some of this. I've had this on my wish list for the longest time. This is Dorlan's, I don't know how it's pronounced. It's by Jacquard and it's Dorlan's Wax Medium. And I had seen somebody say that you could put this on like envelopes to steal them after you've watercolored and things like that. So I, I and I forget what else, uh, but if you've used this, please tell me your favorite your favorite way to use this. Why I purchased this is number one, Christmas is coming up and I really want to paint some envelopes. I, every year I think I'm going to and then I run out of time, but I really would like to do that. <laughs> I've been trying to set myself up with everything I need so I can start in later in October probably. But also I thought I might try sealing my sketchbooks after I paint them with this. So that is what I purchased this for. And yeah, it's been on my wish list for a long time. And so I'm, I got the big giant one. It was like $20, <laughs> but, uh, but the other one seemed really small. So I hope I like it, but <laughs> did get that. Next, I picked out a a smaller size of the Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press. I think they were out of stock or the large, but I thought this would actually be really nice for when I swatch watercolors so I don't have to uh, cut them down. This is the five by seven watercolor pad and it has 15 sheets of black watercolor paper. By far my favorite black watercolor paper. So that's some of that. I also did get some of these um, Fine Tech premium. This was a, actually I got these on Amazon. I don't think I can find them now, but I got them on Amazon because they were on a sale. Um, I think they were $38, which was quite a bit cheaper than Dick Blick was charging. Some neon colors, which I thought were interesting. So this comes with, let me go ahead and open this up. So these are from Fine Tech and So these are not pearlescent at all, which I was expecting neon, but um, they kind of look weird. I don't know. So yeah, I'll have to try these. But the colors, so the colors included in this set are yellow after glowing, orange, magenta, purple, blue, green. So I will swatch those out when I swatch all the watercolors. And yeah. I'm glad I got those on sale. After I wet them, they're going to be gorgeous. Um, I do love the box. The box is gorgeous, but uh, at the end of the day, I want the paint to be really nice. Lastly, <laughs> this is why I placed my order Dick Blick. Oh my gosh. I was able to get this Rembrandt dot card. They had a special where if you purchased, I believe it was $30 worth of Rembrandt paints, you got this dot card. So the colors I chose this time were Dusk Pink, Chameleon Gold Red Violet, Chameleon Red Violet Blue, and Chameleon Violet Blue Green. Let's watch those out in just a minute, but first, let's just take a minute to rejoice. Rembrandt, I hope they make this for sale eventually. Let me take this out of the package. I don't know how much glare I'm getting. So this is the Watercolor Experience Kit. 46 colors to try. Uh, two papers to tie, try. You get a white sheet of 100% cotton and the black. You also get a swatch card to paint out the colors for reference as well as an informational leaflet color chart of all 120 colors. And then it also comes with, it comes with the paper. And hold on a minute. This black paper looks better. I wish I knew, I hope they say which watercolor paper because I tried the Van Gogh paper and it it was I didn't like it at all <laughs> it had weird lines through it and yeah this looks lots better so I can't wait to compare it so you get samples of that too so here's the information oh look at this this is really nice oh I'm so glad I got that and all of the colors I've been um, I've been having to use a printed out piece that I did myself out of my printer that did not show the colors as well, but it, it gave me the pigment information and the light fast information so I could know which colors I wanted to try next. Really nice. Well done, Rembrandt. This is, this is amazing. So they give you one, are they the same paper? 
Nope. Okay, so they've got it all wrote out for me. So I will be making another video and swatching all those out with you. And they already have the ones that are going to look good on black. They already have it black. That is genius. I wish every company would do this for us. Oh, wouldn't it be great to have one of these from every company? I'm ordering more paints from them just because they offered this. It's like they get me. <laughs> I wish every company would do this because it's so helpful. Plus, it's just so fun on the day where you're tired and you don't want to draw anything and you don't really want to paint, but you just want to play with color. It's just so fun to paint out a dot card. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I just It's so fun. All their new colors are what drew me to Rembrandt. When I first tried them, you know, the older colors, they're fine. They're okay. But the new modern ones are are where it's at for me. They're pretty. They have some granulation colors. They have the dust colors. They have the gold colors. They have the red violets. They all, it seems like they have a pretty generous dot on all of them. Uh, these right here, all of these from here, <laughs> this last three rows, you're going to want to put a drop of water and let them activate and sit a minute to get the best reaction. What I love about this dot card is that Rembrandt has a done exactly what I need them to do. They've put in all they put all the information on there that I need. They put the pigment information. Most of the time companies will put the name, sometimes the light fast information, but they rarely ever put the pigment information. So bravo, Royal Talons. Okay, I cannot wait to do that. Swatch these colors out for you because they are lovely. 860 is the Chameleon Gold Red Violet. They're not going to have any flow, so let's just paint something pretty instead. These are very pretty and sparkly. All right, next, 861. 861 is the Red Violet Blue. And I actually had to buy separate of these because I've been sending some samples to my friends. And it's so, look at how pretty they are. Like you wouldn't want to paint a whole painting, but look at how gorgeous they are. This one I'm going to stir up. So this one had some problems. But uh, a couple times Dick Black has given free samples. And yeah, they're, I do prefer these in the tubes. Okay, so this one is just a little more turquoise. You see that? That's the difference. But then after they dry, you can layer on top and even do it again. Okay, so that was 862. And so that was the violet blue green that's coming across. I'll share them after they've dried. Is that color coming through? Really gorgeous. They're a lot of fun to play with. If the dot card is not available, I will have these linked to Jackson's because I believe they're more affordable at Jackson's uh, last time I checked. So I think these are my favorite out of the, the coated glass better than the iridescent myself. I hope I'm being able to get that on the camera and being able to show it. It's highly reflective and shows some glitter in the sunlight. So next, I placed a few orders from Jackson's and I'm going to put them all together. Uh, but let me take some of this out. I did keep some of these in here because they're like little treasures in the box. And then I save them up until it's the month is over. <laughs> but I really just shop according to sales, according to my wish list, and according to, um, you know, of course, my budget for that month. Uh, but sales, somebody had asked what makes me go ahead and it's definitely sales or a promotional offer like the dot card, something like that. Of course, that makes me pick that off my wish list. Um, okay, so I'll move these to the side and just, <laughs> these Roman Schmalls so are just all put together all perfectly. These are some more Roman Schmall paints. They're one of, Roman Schmall is definitely one of my top favorite uh, watercolors. Not only are they affordable, but they're just overall gorgeous to paint with. I love the colors he comes out with. So many good things to say about Roman Schmal. They're gorgeous, they re-wet beautifully, and they're in full pan, and they're pretty affordable. Every time Roman Schmal has a new release, I'm slowly but surely adding all the colors because I like to 
compare them and yeah it's kind of crazy there's been very few colors that i really don't enjoy their wrappers are painted already to show the color so that's really good because i'm not going to have time today to swatch these out <laughs> this will give you a little taste and then i'll do another i'll do a follow-up video where i swatch the rest of the watercolors i have so this is aquarius red this is made from pr214 and it's a really Looks like a really nice red. Okay. Next is Quinacridone Maroon. This is made from PR206. Kind of looks like a brick red. Is it getting in focus? Okay. Next is Manganese Violet. I had to get this one so I could compare it to the Schmincke version <laughs> because that's one of my favorite colors from Schmincke and it's even made with the same pigment. I think that's one of the reasons I picked out most of these is because I picked out according to pigment to compare to the Schmincke to see, I don't know. I have this, I play this game with my paint so who wears it best? <laughs> like who's, who makes the best of this color? And I know it's, um, it's completely unnecessary but it's incredibly fun. Uh, so this is PV16. This is made from PV16. So it's the same pigment as uh, Schmincke uses for their manganese violet, which is one of my favorite colors from them. This is Aquarius Cobalt Blue. So I'm not sure if I, this is made from PB72. So I don't know if I was trying to do, I think I was probably trying to get granulating paints when I placed this order. <laughs> um, this is Thalo Turquoise. This is from PB16. Oh, this is Lazarite. Lapis Lazuli something. And I think this had been on my wish list for quite a while. This is PB... Oh, it's an earth pigment. It's not available. So that's why I got it. It's interesting pigment. <laughs> and then next is Viridian. I've been on a thing where I'm comparing all the Viridians. So this is PG18. So I can't wait to try Roman Schmal's version. It looks very lovely. This one is Cobalt Green Deep. Okay, so then when they had the new ones come out, this is the only one that I did not get. So, of course, I had to add that one to my list. This one is made with PG26. It's the same uh, pigment information as Schmincke's Cobalt Green Deep. So if you're not crazy about trying all the colors and you already have that, <laughs> you don't have to buy it. Um, this one is Perline Green Deep, which is made from PBK32. Perline Green is one of my must-have colors for most palettes. Um, this is Deep Green Gold. This is made from PY129. Looks like a pretty green gold. I can't wait to swatch that one out, especially for the fall. That'll be gorgeous. Um, next is Transparent Brown made from PBR 23 and then next of course is Mars Black uh, PBK 11 I believe I I kind of collect uh, I don't usually like black but in every brand I do like to try their PBK 11 because it's great for granulation so I could take these two colors and make basically uh, the same thing as the dusk this isn't the same pigment but It'll give me a really pretty color similar to this dusk pink, which in the fall I think is fabulous. So next I did get some uh, more Viridian greens because I'm trying to uh, try them all to see which one is my favorite because Schmincke was my favorite. So I went ahead and uh, tr purchased the Windsor Newton Viridian and they are saying their writing is really small. I don't even have bad eyesight or glasses yet. Okay, they're saying it's PG-18. And then this is the uh, Jackson's brand. And they, okay, so they use PG-18 and PG-7. A lot of people say that the Jackson's brand is made by Sennelier or it's the same as Sennelier. It's not near as good as Sennelier to me anyway. I don't know. Maybe I need to give them another go. But personally, I find Sennelier paints at least twice as good but maybe I need to try them again or try more colors so trying to keep open mind this is from Old Holland I did love some Old Holland look they even called it come in a gold wrapper just gorgeous so but I did go ahead and 
decide to try their Viridian Green Deep, which I think I looked and that does not come in the 36 half pan set that I have on my wish list. I'm hoping I get it for Christmas or something, I don't know. Next is from Marimer Blue. This is their Viridian and this is made from, oh, here it is, it's small. Um, I'm sorry, here it is, it's PG-18, which is what I'm looking for. And on the Viridian for Old Holland, I do not see the pigment information for me. Let me see if it's on the half pan. I'm gonna open up this half pan and see like a little candy no no information I'm pretty sure that this had PJ 18 or I probably wouldn't have purchased it because I decided to get a few more colors because I think they might be like many other brands where I just enjoy the more modern pigments with a few of the older ones so let me start with two that I know I already love and that um, I've, ar I've uh, already used up their paint and that is uh, Rose Door by Winsor Newton. This is made from PY19 and PY97. It's a gorgeous light pink, but it's just so delicate and so gorgeous, and I love it for florals. So I picked up another one of those. And then also by Winsor Newton, this is Rose Matter, and I believe this isn't light fast, but it's just such a gorgeous color uh, for florals. So the pigment information is not available because it's if I remember right, this is actually made from the plant, from the root of the plant. And so it's not light fast, but it's gorgeous. And it's kind of one of those unique historic pigments. And then next I did get a few other colors. I went ahead and tried uh, Quinacridone Gold by Winsor Newton. This is made from PR206, PV19, and PY150. That is a strange mix for Quin Gold, but I will have to try it. But that's usually one of my favorite colors in every brand. Uh, same with Perline Violet. This is made from PV29. Very nice. This is Quinacridone Violet. This is made from PV55. This is Cobalt Turquoise. This is made from PV28 and PV36. I expect that to be gorgeous. And this is Perline Green. Uh, this is made from PBK31, so very typical of Paraline Green. So I will swatch those out in another video again. Next, I have some colors from Asaro. Look at all of these glorious colors. So um, I'm new to the brand, but I actually had a lovely, uh, a lovely art friend send me some happy mail with some of their samples, and that just made me fall in love with Asaro. So it's made me very curious about the brand. All right, look at all of these gorgeous colors. Even the labels are so gorgeous. I wonder if these are hand painted on there because look at that. It's like, is that coming through? It's like metallic looking. It is so gorgeous. I wonder, so I wonder if those are hand painted. Okay, I'm getting distracted by beautiful things again. <laughs> okay, so these come, these are watercolors that are handmade in Belgium. And they are just crafted with love and everything I've read about the company just makes me fall in love with them. So I definitely waited too long to try them. And these are uh, sold at Jackson's. So this is a Sorrow Yellow Light. And this is made with PY154. And that yes, these are seven milliliter tubes. Um, they don't have half pans available that I know of. They just introduced some more colors that have made me even more enamored with this company. So this is a Sorrow Yellow Light. And this is made from PY154. Next is Powdery Pink, which is made from PW6 colon 1 and PR122. So I think that's going to be a gorgeous color. Next is a Sorrow Rose. It's made from PR122. Next is Endanthrene Blue. It's made from PB60. Next is a Sor Blue, and that is made from PB36. Next is turquoise green. Oh, I can't wait to swatch this. This is made from PG7 and PB15 colon 3. 
And then the, oh, these two are I think I'm most excited about. Oh, this is Boreal Blue and it looks sparkly and gorgeous and it is made from PB29 and a pearlescent pigment. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. This is Norman Green and this has been on my wish list for the longest time. I think it's always been sold out every time I went to get it. It's made from PG7 and PB16 and I cannot wait to swatch that out. Um, I'm just getting all giddy thinking about how much fun it's going to be to swatch these. Um, next is Sap Green and these this is made from PY139 and PG36. And this is Burnt Sienna. It's made from PBR7 and Payne's Gray. And this is made from PBK11, PB29, and PB15. So thank you to my friend, first of all, for sending me that little samples and introducing me to this uh, wonderful brand. I cannot wait to uh, swatch all these out and paint with them. So that's the end of my haul video. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I'll be having a follow-up video sharing some more swatching and separate videos. I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.